Yo, what's going on guys? It's Bora Vime and today I'm going to show you how to set up dev mode on your Xbox Series S or X. Alright, first thing you want to do is go to the top and go to this search tab. Click A on it and search dev mode. You should see right here, Xbox dev mode and what we're going to do is click on it and then simply install all. I bet once it's installed, all we're going to do is simply click A on it and open it up. First you will be greeted to a screen like this, the welcome screen, and all we're going to do is simply click on next, and it's going to tell you follow these steps, make sure your development PC is running Windows 10, install Visual Studio 2017 or higher, make sure your console has at least 5 gigabytes of internal storage free. And also for those who do not have a Windows PC, if you have a iPhone or an Android, you can do this within your Safari on those devices, so you do not actually need a PC. Click on next. Now you will be greeted with a code like this. This is the code we would use to activate the console, but now what we gotta do is go on PC and set up our developer account. This is a one-time fee. Once we get to the Microsoft developer website, I will have a link in the description so you can get to it fast. What you got to do is just simply click on sign up. It may ask you to sign in if you aren't already, so we're just going to simply sign in to your Xbox account. Alright, bet. Once we get to the registration, all you want to do is enter your country and region. For me, I'm going to use United States. Now you should see for individual or company, what you want to do is pick individual now you want to enter in a publisher display name this could be your gamer tag to anything you use for a username for me i'm just going to use my youtube revive me now for the contact info it's pretty self-explanatory just enter all your info in and then what we're going to do is click on next now we'll get into the registration payment as you can see on this side it is 19 dollars usd now all you want to do is set up your billing add your card and then once you're finished with this, we'll go on to the next step. If it ends up bringing you to a page like this and you get lost, all you have to do is on the top left, click on these tabs and click on apps and games. Then once you're in a page like this, on the left side, you'll see Xbox services. At the very bottom would say Xbox development consoles. Click on it. And then here you should see manage Xbox devices. Now what you would do is on the right side of keyword search, you should see this plus. Click on it and then click on enter activation code. And now we're going to simply enter the activation code that was on our Xbox. This was our activation code, so I'm going to enter this on the web page and then click on submit. And then once you've done that, now you should see that your Xbox is activating. And then now you'll be greeted with switch to developer mode. And just like that, you're finished. You have just set up Xbox dev mode for your Xbox. And now you can simply switch and restart when you want to. Or you can restart later. We're just going to simply switch and restart. Just so we could give you a few ideas of how to navigate around dev mode. Now your Xbox should turn off and it should restart. Should take about a couple minutes. Just please be patient. I bet now that we're in dev mode, what you want to do is press the start button on your controller. Head over to manage dev storage. Now with this, it is recommended to have a minimum of at least 5 gigabytes. Whatever more you add will take away from your internal storage from retail mode. I recommend either doing 5, but if you don't have a USB and you're planning on adding games internally, definitely bump it up to at least 20 to at least 25. And then once you do that, click save. And then your Xbox should restart one more time. And then we're finally going to tackle the rest of the video. I bet now that we're on dev mode, dev mode is kind of like its own interface. So you are going to have to simply add our accounts and also add our internet back onto it. So what we're going to do is head over to the settings, network settings, and simply connect to your internet. And then now that we have internet connected to our dev mode, what we're going to do is simply go back to the dev menu. Underneath test accounts, go to add existing. And then simply we're going to sign into our Xbox account that we use to create our developer account. And just like that, we got dev mode set up. We got our account set up and we also are connected to the internet. So now we can start installing apps. Now I'm going to show you the remote access at the bottom, so simply click on remote access settings. And what we're going to do is enable the Xbox dev portal. 
what this will do is this is where we will install our apps. We would have to do this from the computer or your phone. Make sure to keep a screenshot of this because anytime you want to enter the access portal on your computer, you're going to have to use either one or two links, whichever one works for you. And then at the bottom, there's an authentication where you can set a password and username. Me personally, I just keep this unchecked. It's just a little easier to get onto the page without having to enter your information every time. And then what we're going to do is we're going to leave our Xbox on this page. I bet. So what we're going to do is switch over to the PC. We're going to enter in one of the links for the access portal. And then there's some settings we're going to change from there. And then you should be good to go. All right. Now that we're on the computer, what we're going to do is enter in one of those links. And yes, please add the HTTPS within it. And then once you enter in the link, you should get a page that says your connection is not private. Attackers might attempt to steal your information. Simply at the bottom, click on advanced and proceed. And here, now we are at the Xbox dev portal. First thing I want you to do is head over to the left side where it says settings. Go down to preference. Make sure treat UWP apps as games by default is checked. And then it's going to say you need to restart the console for some settings to take effect. We're going to do later and then click on power. And then we're going to uncheck the automatically boot console when connected to power. So if you turn off your Xbox in dev mode by any chance, normally if this was checked, it'll automatically boot right back up. So now that we uncheck this, if you turn off your Xbox in dev mode, your Xbox will be turned off until the next time you turn it on. And then once we change those, all you got to do is the top right where it says power, click on this and click restart. Are you sure you want to restart the target device and click on OK? And then now your Xbox will restart and now the settings will take an effect. All right. Now, once your Xbox has restarted and the changes have taken effect, I'm now going to show you how to leave dev mode properly. So normally you would go down and go to leave dev mode. You click it once. You'd be prompt up with this message. Switching out developer mode will restart your console. Normally this is checked. If this is checked and you leave dev mode, this will delete all your side loaded games and apps and all the work that you put into getting this working. So what you want to do is every time you get out of dev mode, just to be safe, make sure this is unchecked and then click on OK. If you do not like leaving dev mode like that, every time I do have a video up on my channel called how to install safe exit for Xbox dev mode. This is another alternative way of leaving dev mode without having to go through that screen. All you would have to do is simply click on the app and then it will simply restart you out of dev mode without you having to worry about losing any of your stuff. Now that you have got to the end of this video, now what you could do is start tackling things and installing things onto your dev mode. I have an Xbox Series X dev mode playlist on my YouTube channel that you could check out. It shows you how to install all the apps, how to get your USB formatted properly, and how to install safe exit and that's pretty much about it hope you guys enjoyed and hope to catch you guys on the next one